generation of kids just not knowing who MKLeo and Tweak are. They just know the Wi-Fi players. Three, two, one, go! Nah, they've been doing really well with their stream online. Even in spite of them not, you know, playing in online tournaments that much. Even Leo was in this tournament today. Playing random characters, but... Oh! Okay. Delay his recovery a little bit. Yeah, Ape Man's a pretty experienced in this matchup at this point. Like, he's gone deep in these online tournaments for quite some time now. And to do that, you have to get past a lot of really good Nest players. You definitely do. Something I really like about TM4 Nest so far, though, is that he's actually really smart about how he plays out of shield. And he's usually pretty patient from what I'm noticing. Oh, but that was a very poorly spaced back air. Good mash, though. Got out of that upper setup. Oh, that was so smart. He not only does he get back, but he knocks away the gyro, too. So he can get the ledge safely. Oh, good catch. Oh, good catch. And the recovery. Ape Man with the Nair, yeah. It's such a big circular hitbox. You have to really be careful when it's so active. Oh, the snipes are coming in from Ape Man. Yeah. Oh, no, no gyro. No downer. Yeah, no downer, no gyro here. Ape Man just looking for a play from TM4 to catch him in the car. Oh, good tasting. Dude, that was like max range back air. Force Ape Man to try to go for an unsafe shield grab and then just get the back throw. Really smart stuff there. Now he has a big opportunity to get a, big, a nice combo. Oh, up throw? Yeah, even without the platform at that percent, it's gonna kill. Ooh, not a good trade for a TM4. Yeah, one thing he does have going for himself is Rob is super big, so if he can get the right hit, it's gonna be a lot of percent for him, but. Yeah. Ape Man's defense on Ness has been pretty solid, but he's not getting comboed that heavily. Nice, good gyro there to buy himself back on the stage here with oh. the laser stage. Looking for center stage control. Ape Man with the op to kill Ness at this oh. percent. He knows he's already high enough. So yeah. why not finish him off? Not the best DI on that up air to be honest, but still, that's just a lot of pressure from Ape Man. Still keeping it up as well. I love the down tilts on the platform too, just to keep Ness locked down. Avoids the PK Thunder. Oh, stalling under the stage for a pretty long time. And avoids everything, wow. Yeah, really good stage control right now for Ape Man. TM4 is just struggling to get out of the corner. Okay. Nice sub smash out of shield. Ready for the get up attack. Staying alive in this game. He can definitely still do a lot here. That's damage I'll play is pretty insane. Needs the right opening. Oh. Some crazy snipes right here for Ape Man. Oh, nice. Ape Man waiting on the timing to get him before he could get the ledge. Oh, uh, got out of the PK fire a little bit early. Oh, no ground. Wow, I, Narrowly missing it, too. Yeah, I thought he was waiting for that roll, too. He just barely missed. Nice. Nice use of the PK flash to get to the ledge. Oh, does he still have his jump? Oh, man, he keeps barely avoiding these down airs. Pretty crazy. TM4 opportunity here though. Has a lot of rage. Looking for that one opening. So evasive too. Ape Man just can't find the kill and Oof. oh! Oh, we're living. That side magnet actually lowered his percent up so he wouldn't die to the nair. Yeah, that was good for Ape Man. He knows, you know what, if he's gonna absorb it, can will I have oh. enough damage across the Wait stage? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He has about the ledge. No gyro here. Yeah, no gyro, but look at the Look at the jet boost here, oh, able to go over the stage. Oh, wait, wait. Ape Man really scary for... spot to be in. Oh, oh direction no invincibility. Now he's still back, oh, he's still back. And the down right Oh, again. no. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Dang, he, he missed that crucial, crucial edge guard. What a way to die, though. Dying from the ground bounce down there. I don't think I've seen that kill, actually. I've seen a kill, but not with Rob, but yeah, good stuff to Ape Man just fighting with everything. He knows even if he goes for an air dodge, man, you still have that up recovered. If you have enough fuel, 
You'll make it, and it's no big deal, so. <laughs> Man, that was crazy. Almost a crazy comeback. Yeah, he definitely did overextend there, because Abit Man, uh, he re grabbed the ledge, so all he had to do was just down smash or up smash there. But he decided to go off stage, unfortunately, missed, and then got reversal there. Still, still really, really good game. He was. He was like at almost 200% to Ape Man's like fresh stock, pretty much. He still almost won that. Game two here for TM4. Ape Man with the first point on the board. What an explosive game one, though. Pretty much yeah. going down to the very wire. Yeah, very crazy first game, honestly. That was one of the most intense game ones I've seen in a long time. <laughs> Not gonna lie. All right, well, we'll see what game two will both for these two. Ooh. Immediately TM4 with the PK fire. Double forward air for the corner carry all the and way the for the grab throw. And the pivot grabbing too, yeah. Mm -hmm. I really liked his choice to go for the reset with PK Fire instead of just a forward air string because he got way more damage out of that. <gasps> okay, and he has, he has stage control for pretty much the whole match just now. <laughs> yeah. Oh. He has not let Ape Man breathe. What a great Wait a minute. from the gyro downer and missed the mark. Yeah, good good for him to use his up B to clank with the gyro because that would have been really bad. But his DI on up air has been not the best. He's dying very early to that move. Unfortunate, but sneaks in the back air. Doesn't take any percent, so we're playing with a two stock game. Uh oh, put himself back in the corner. Good opportunity here, though. I don't know what Avid Man is doing with this gyro, but it's, it's scaring me right now. <laughs> <laughs> I think just that third of gyro enough from oh. Rob is big enough to like set anybody off, dude. You have to be really careful on this spike gyro. Wow, look at the gyro just blocks the PK fire so easily. I'm telling you, all man. he has to do is just have it in front of him. If just a third of gyro alone is big enough. All right, good downer to stall himself back on the landing, gets the forward air before the back air on the side stall on Ness. Oh, oh no! I think that's a connection error issue. Yep. So everyone, you know the drill. Every Monday, we must get disconnected from at least one set. Um, how's it, everyone it, doing? It, it's how's everyone doing tonight? It, uh, it's not hope you guys had a great Monday so far. Yeah. Might be Sunday where some of you guys are. Why would it be Sun? What? Somewhere. Okay. What if there's European people here? Didn't there some guys say it was 3 a.m. a while ago? That would be 3 a.m. like tomorrow, like Tuesday, my guy. Wait, why did I say Sunday? I meant Tuesday. Yeah, 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 yeah I was yeah. going to say. Yeah, yeah. Don't over. worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Yeah, you guys already know, man. It's MSM custom to get disconnected from one match. It just has to happen, bro. It's 4.30 a.m. Yo. in the United Kingdom. Shout okay. outs to the United Kingdom. Any of our viewers from the United Kingdom, man. Shout outs to you guys for being up this late. Or this early, I guess. <laughs> depending on how. <laughs> depending yeah. if you work in the morning or not. <laughs> yes, we also can't see who's winning. Yeah, we can't see who's winning, don't worry. <laughs> Oh hell! I, I'll do you the favor, man. I, I will. I will time out any Yoshi main. I hate that mashing dinosaur. Oh, Nocturnal Fudge says he has a psychopathic sleep schedule. Name checks out. <laughs> Name checks out. All right. I guess I'll take a question what's from my, the chat. Here. What's, what's my 
favorite song in Smash is probably the Genova theme. Yeah, I think that's my favorite. I had a salad and a piece of steak for dinner. My favorite song in Smash is Great Bay from the Zelda stage, one of the Zelda stages. I don't think of Genova as, as a song in Smash because it's like I've heard it so many times in like Dissidia and Final Fantasy in general. Yeah, Great Bay is one of my favorite stages and it's also my favorite song. My favorite player to watch. I don't know. I mean, it's probably Void or Charlie. Um, one of those two. I think Tweak. And if it's not Tweak, uh, it's probably T. Because I'm a Link main, so there you go. I like watching T because every time Links talk about doing combos and learning all these other combos, you just see T just play very good neutral and then that kind of shuts everybody up. Yeah. He does have really good combos too, though. Yeah, he does. Link has combos, but like, it's just amazing to see T play a really strong neutral after all the Links just talk about combos and learning like... No, I mean, I've seen... T do like the bomb infinites in like tournament matches. Yeah, I, yeah. I think if people it's act like he doesn't, all he does is nair, but he actually knows a lot of technical things with Link too. Yeah, he does. He does. But it's not necessary most of the time. That's the thing about T. He knows like some of the super technical Link stuff is not really necessary. It's just you have to really be good at neutral before you can even. Yeah, T does do fair loops. They're very hard. Fair loops are pretty much like Fox wave shines. Anyways. So Wait, TM so TM4 actually won that game? Yes. We didn't see it at all? Uh, shout out to I'm sorry. in the chat who let us know, especially Helvet and uh, Spencer, aka Best Ness. Three, Yo, Best Ness? One, in the chat? He must be giving uh, TM4 his energy right now. Or or he's betting on 8-Bit Man. I can never tell with that guy. See the, anyway. real, the the real the real big brain play here is you you're betting on Ape Man so that you can pretty much tout like you know what there can only be one best nest here. That's oh, because Ape Man oh, gets an no. excellent down air. Dang, I know Ape Man was going for that down air a lot too, and uh, TM4 was positioning himself to avoid it pretty much every time. But then the one time he messed up, died. But we'll see, we'll see. I mean, TM4 has just been so good at making comebacks, so even though he died pretty early there, I, I don't think it's going to, you know, keep him down too much. Man, really struggling to deal with the gyro right now, though. It's kind of weird, because I've never seen... I, I'm kind of with Best Nets here. He says, uh... Ness players are chokers, but, like... The only Ness player I've watched consistently enough is like Best Ness himself and Lumbre, and I've never really seen Lumbre choke personally. Oh wait, hold on. Let me let me let me remind you of Lumbre versus Zinyu at. Oh yeah, uh, you're right. That, you're right. You're right. Yeah, uh, that was, Smash that was Church, pretty Smash bad. Smash Church. Smash no, Church. Not yeah, that one and 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 uh, what was it? The SoCal something one. I can't remember what it was called. It was like the SoCal of Z we had. It was literally SoCal in the title. Yeah. Then you got to grand oh, finals. Oh, it was was it the SoCal Smash League? I feel like it was. Just look Anyways. up Zinyu versus Boombray <laughs> on YouTube. Anyone Anyways. that wants to watch. This is a right now. Game. This is uh, he might die here. Yeah. yeah, but I don't know. Even when even when TM4 has been losing, he's still playing in a way where I feel like he can always make the comeback. He just needs like that one opening. I think Abe Man also recognizes that, so he tries to play as hard point as possible. Oh! Okay, that was scary. That'd be probably what it killed. Good tech. Not missing here. Ooh, careful with oh. the shield poke. Almost. It was a good idea for sure. He needs that he needs that down smash to get the kill. Or the up smash. Nice, rolls out before it even gets the poke as well. Ape Man, just such a strong hold of this lead here. Regrab to reset the activation on the gyro here. Ape Man just 
opportunity. He has time here picking up hard TM4. There's the full one I call it on the Nair. That down tilt is so good. Mm, that was that was close on back air. Oh, good recovery for Baby Man. He avoids everything. Oh, not even up tilt. Town and City having such a huge blast zone. Oh, rough recovery here. To the ledge. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, he has the arrow too. Excellent not enough. DI, yeah. I wonder if he had enough time to back throw in there. It looked like he could have grabbed that, but. Oh, oh the up arrow through the ledge? Okay. Not enough. Not, not dead, enough. but. What a man. call out, though, on the down, on the forward smash. Sorry, down yeah. smash. He got past the down smash and everything. He should be dead to this, though. Yeah, that's With the platform. Zone. Yeah. Damn. He just, he couldn't get that stock at all. Nothing would kill. I just honestly, like, I'm going to be real. I just did not see the up air at all hitting TM4, like, at the ledge. Because, like, I was like, okay, you know what? TM4 has got the down smash. It, it's curtains for that stock. But immediately, you just see Ape Man just still fighting from the depths. Hitting him with up air, knowing it just goes above the, above the ledge. And, yeah, pretty much giving TM4 at the time. Ape Man 2 1 here on a winner's semi, looking to punch in that ticket to play against Adamus here. TM4 is pretty much on the back foot. My commentator's to intuition is telling me this will go to game five. I'm not going to fight against you because every time you have said something about in general, you've always blessed. Actually, you've always cursed the player. <laughs> you've always cursed the player, so you're, you're probably right. Chances are you're right. I'm out here trying to give commentators blessing, but you strats. You, on the other hand, <laughs> you are a curse. Yeah, yeah, it happens. I could be wrong though. You know, AB Man could just clutch this out. He's playing really damn good. Honestly, he got that really early down air last game. He just, he just ran away with it pretty much. I don't think TM4 ever regained the lead after that happened. I think he was just down the whole time. Ooh. Oh! I mean, he's gonna get a lead now with an excellent PK fire to down air. He's like, you know, yeah, down airing at early stocks, that actually seems like a really good idea to win this these games. So I think I should yeah. do that. Yeah, good idea. He probably <laughs> heard the commentary too. He's like, you know what, Strides, you're oh. right, so we'll go to game five. Oh I'm my god, the percent! Oh, he missed. Mm, yeah, he missed it. Rare drop. That still did a lot of damage, though. Damn, that was. That, I think that was almost seventy percent. Good DI on the up air. I like the cymatic cross up. All right, Ape Man on the landing here. He can tech that. Oh, still? yeah, excellent tech here. On One twenty, yeah. one forty. I thought that would be untechable at that percent, but Ape Man's amazing player. Still struggling to, you know, get this stock off a TM4 though. Momentum is firmly in Ness's hands right now. And there's the dash attack. Finally gonna kill the dash attack. Yeah, TM4, uh, I'm telling you, Strides. You usually curse people, but this time you give TM4 the blessing. He's up two stocks to one, even with the down throw from Ape Man. This game five is looking like a very strong possibility here for Ape Man with the patience at the ledge, looking for the right time to come in through Nair or a cross up. Oh. Had the air dodge to avoid the gyro. Yeah, and good kind of in a rough too. spot. Uh oh. Okay, good stuff for him to avoid the gyro there. I think he was looking for like a gyro snipe into the side B to get an early kill. There's a laser, not the corner carry yet here. Ape Man on the early forward smash. Ooh. Just missing because you can tell he angled it. Really good PK fire, but anti air smash -air, coming yeah. out. Yeah. Aven Man keeping himself alive here. Never can count this guy out, especially when it's Rob. He, he can just melt away stock so fast. He oh, gets a Z drop Nair train, and it's going to be tough for ATM4. Yeah, I think TM4 is recognizing that too. Doesn't want to get oh. put in that situation, but okay. Very good to avoid that second forward air, because if you got put off stage, it could have been really bad. What a corner carry from Ape Man, just only dropping it so slightly. Man, he's just not ready for that up air through the ledge. Ape Man's been using that quite a bit. But there's the side magnet healing a whole lot. 
Nair up air. What a great play. Oh. Ape Man with a lot of stage control. Good stuff on TM4. Sees that Ape Man isn't going to overextend. Lines on the platform. That gyro kind of scary right now. If Ness had not got on the healed, this could have been game over. It would have just been much, much closer than it is, as it already yeah. is now. Right, Ape Man on the, the saw. Good shield here, avoiding the PK fire. Excellent from TM4, taking out the gyro out of play here. Doesn't want to deal with it anymore. Uh -oh. Laser. Ape Man the gyro though. His way in. Gyro's giving Ape Man all the space he needs. TM4, he's. He just wants this one hit. He knows he just needs one good hit to win this game, but man, Ape Man is so hard to catch right now. Oh, oh but there's up the up there. Nice timing. He just barely got that on time to beat out uh, Ape Man's neutral lift. Really close. Really, really close. I remember what I said. I won't lie, Bessness. I'll remember what you said. Best Nest predicts TM4 might choke here. We'll see, man. We'll see who's going to take game five. Yeah, I just said it would go to game five. I, I didn't say the Nest player will win. I, I don't have that ability to predict. <laughs> Matt Cotton will always triumph over technology. Actually, that doesn't seem to be the case. <laughs> Actually. That's kind of the underlying theme of um earthbound in earthbound three sorry mother three wait a minute oh no don't remind me of what happened at xanadu last week that was actually very sad what happened to Apit man dang that was very sad <laughs> why'd you remind me of that oh man couple of chokers game five impossible to say hmm yeah when it's two chokers in the game five like who who how do you decide Who will be the one to choke this time? <laughs> Let's find out. Crazy thing, man. We're not designed to do it on MSM, so we'll see how we'll treat these two very differently. Game 5. Ape it, man. TM4. TM4 definitely bringing it back. Strides with the first time commentator's blessing. One, Dude, it's not the first time. Come on. First time in a <laughs> long time, if you ask me, man. All right, let's see. Usually the person that gets the really strong first stock has just been the one to just win this. So, very important moment right now in the set. Mm -hmm. Good adaptation, though, from TM4. We saw last game, right? He was able to understand the one move that Ape Man was coming into Lanu was Nair. So he called it out with up air. So we'll see how TM4 can understand Ape Man's general plan of recovery and see if he can capitalize more off that. Oh, caught the air dodge. Easy, easy out smash for Ape Man. Yeah, and Ape Man already with a good lead here. 63. Three stocks. Good jab. You usually see the jabs come out because most jabs are able to be active enough to call out spot dodges. Ape Man taking his time. Ooh. But you know what? He extends his hurt box with the use of Nair. Man. That down smash was charged for so long, too. Oh. That spot though? Mm, double down air and excellent use of down tilt here. Trying to see if he can yeah, beat out the ledge of instability. He's just locking him down off stage. Another down air and missed the mark. But what oh, he's to ready to for back. the roll too. Mm -hmm. Man, Ape Man is on fire right now. No percent taken. Yeah, I'm telling I'm I'm telling Best Nest, man. You know, he may be choking at Xanadu, but you know, MSM is, seems to be uh Ape Man's paycheck for sure. Definitely looking for that fifth win. Oh, jeez. Nice gyro play there for TM4, though. Going for some really cheeky edge guard, but the up air through the ledge every time, man. Every time. Good, good for Ape Man to just walk away from from like that PK fire because he knows the first thing TM4 is going to look for is an immediate follow-up but if he's holding shield too long TM4 gets a grab or a punish out of shield oh the side stall oh. what a call out what a call out yeah he's really good at getting that but he just took like 12% from gyro being on the ground <laughs> that's not good all right last stock game five winner of this goes to winners finals 
It's been going back and forth, but Avenman has a pretty solid lead right now. Nice. He sees Nair, no follow up, just tries to hold on the stage. That was smart. He wanted yeah, to he see wanted the to... He doesn't want to be in between down tilt and the, the gyro. That would have been yeah. game over. It's pretty much getting caught on a rock in a hard place. Alright, Ape and Man, another gyro to try to hold the neutral here a little bit. Back air, good spacing, it's pretty safe with how Rob moves away. <gasps> hold. Hold. Hold it. <laughs> that up be. That be so strong. Uh oh. Got hit out of the jump. Ape and Man, no downer this time. Oh, he will go oh, for it. Late hit. I but he barely gets a snipe. Second oh, attempt here. Oh, he doesn't get spiked, though. He has a second chance at life. TM4. He has to capitalize off of this situation. Pass for himself. Ooh, There's the PK, PK flash into the ledge. Nair, oh, that'll do Nair? it. It'll do it, yeah. Dang, even Nair will kill it that percent. Avid, man. Clutches out the game five. That was that was crazy. Crazy indeed, man. I told you, best Nass, man. This is his paycheck. Trying to collect the funds and call it a day. Come on, man. Yeah, man. The insane <laughs> prize pool at MSM for thousands of dollars. <laughs>